John Cena, a fixture of professional wrestling for over two decades, has announced that 2025 will be his last year in WWE, as an entering competitor, of course. While I'm sad to see him go, I am excited for what story could be told in a full calendar year. There isn't much John Cena hasn't accomplished in his illustrious career, but there are two milestones worth noting. The IC title and, more importantly, the World Championship Reigns record that has been held by the Nature Boy Ric Flair for my entire life. Which route would you like to see John Cena take? Here's how I'd book his final year in WWE. Getting that coveted 17th title reign shot won't be easy, nor should it be. After all, the man hasn't had a televised singles match win since 2018. He's gonna have to work his way back up the ladder. I would have John competing in singles matches with a lot of young talent, putting on of course great matches, similar to his US title open challenge era. He could even go down to NXT for a few fun one-offs, and reignite some classic feuds on Raw and SmackDown while he's at it, slowly stringing wins together and qualifying for the Royal Rumble. He'll make a valiant effort, outlasting every other superstar but one, being the final participant eliminated by for the sake of this story, his longtime nemesis, the Viper, Randy Orton. I mean, can you imagine the pop from the crowd when these two absolute legends stare each other down with a title shot at WrestleMania on the line? Goosebumps. Defeated, but not discouraged, Cena will continue to grind out wins eventually qualifying for the Elimination Chamber match with another opportunity to headline WrestleMania on the line. He'll once again put on a heroic display, channeling the John Cena of old and showing flashes of his glory days. He will, however, once again come up just short. Crushed. Cena perhaps has a match with an old rival rather than a champion at WrestleMania, but his goal will nonetheless not change. Thanks to Triple H, the King of the Ring winner now gets a title shot. John Cena will advance to the finals as a blazing dark horse of the tournament, looking primed to add this impressive accolade to his resume. He will once again come up short, and his dream of capturing gold one last time will appear to be fading as the calendar continues to flip forward. His last shot will be at Money in the Bank, a match he is no stranger to. John Cena will secure the briefcase and finally have his shot at world title reign number 17. Being of course John Cena, he will once again opt out of a surprise cash-in. That'd be too easy after all, and when has John Cena ever taken the easy way? No, just like when he gave notice of his last Money in the Bank cash-in, true to his character, John Cena will give the world champion notice that he'll be cashing in on the very last day of 2025 on perhaps a one-off Netflix special event against the World Heavyweight Champion. The World Heavyweight Champion who is none other than the man who last eliminated him from the Royal Rumble at the start of the year, his longtime rival and OVW classmate, Randy Orton. They'll put on a classic, countering each other's finishers, playing all their greatest hits, and pulling out every stop. When the dust settles and the smoke clears on 2025, John Cena will break Ric Flair's record and win a world championship for an unprecedented 17th time. But hey, that's just what I'd like to see happen. What do you guys think? Would you rather have John Cena go out on his back? Or would you like to see John Cena 
be John Cena, Super Cena, one last time like me. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do all the YouTube stuff for me, please, and I will catch you next time. Take care.